Hey everyone, it's me Avi with Fluix. Filling a custom water cooling loop can be tricky if not taking the right precautions. Here are some quick tips and tricks to make the process go a little bit more smoothly. It is recommended to leak test your components outside of the case separate from the motherboard. You can connect the water block, pump, radiators, tubing, and fittings outside the system, connect the pump to a power supply with a 24 pin bridge, and run the system like this for a couple of hours to make sure there are no leaks. Here we are leak testing the system after building a custom loop inside the case, and we're filling the system and running the pump, but there's no power going to the motherboard, GPU, or any of the main components. Therefore, if there's a leak, we can just wipe it away. Here I have shorted the pins coming from the 24 header from the PSU to run the pump, which has a Molex connector. The key here is paper towels. Last tip, getting all the air bubbles out. In this clip, you see me turning the full chassis over, having the air rise to the top of the loop. Once I run the pump, the air should settle in the reservoir. Generally, you want your pump at the bottom of the loop and your fill port at the top.